in the uh, pyramids with cubes activities that we did in class on Tuesday, you built some pyramids and then enter that information in the spreadsheet. If you were successful in making your formulas and took your um, ratio column down at least, oh, about to a thousand rows, you'll notice that the ratio is approaching a given number. And if you'll notice the decimal 0 0.333, that's very close to a fraction that we all know as, yes, one-third. Well, we're going to do another activity now to help you see what is meant by that and to help develop a formula for volume of a pyramid. So what I have here is a pyramid whose base area, their base areas are identical. Identical base areas, you'll notice that the two bases are the exact same size and the height of the two objects is exactly the same. So the base area is the same, the heights are the same, just as in our example with the blocks. So what we want to do is find out how many of these pyramids of the same base area and height fit into the equivalent prism. Well, if we pour this full and dump it in, there's one. Pour this full, dump it in, there's two. Pour the pyramid full, dump it into the prism, there is three. So it appears that the pyramid holds exactly one-third of what the prism does. That agrees with our 0.333 in the ratio column. But, go ahead and pour that back, that is with a square pyramid and a square prism. What if we take a triangular prism and a triangular pyramid. Again, base areas are identical. Heights, if you'll notice, the heights are the, the same. And we will see if this same relationship holds. We will pour the, a triangle pyramid into the triangular prism. One, two, and three, ah. the reason that that was probably a little bit high is because I poured this up past the base. But you can see that it is a three to one ratio, okay? That leads us to this formula, volume of a pyramid is equal to base times height, just like the mother formula. However, we want one-third of it. So if a prism goes to a point, we call that a pyramid, the area or the volume formula is one-third of what it would have been had it gone straight up. But is that true with this object? We have a cylinder and a cone. Same base area, identical heights. If, does this, does this uh, hold true for cones and cylinders as well? Let's find out. One cone into the cylinder, two cones into the cylinder, and three cones into the cylinder, and yes, it appears that anything that comes to a point contains exactly one-third of what it would have contained had it gone straight up. So we could even add volume of a cone is equal to one-third base times that. Now keep in mind that the capital B is base area, and our base area here is a circle, whereas our base here is whatever the base of the pyramid 
Beards.